Hey everyone, Psycho here again. Now today we're going to be taking a look at some cheap Amazon guitar hangers and we'll see if they're any good. Stay tuned. Alright, so let's take a look at what comes in the kit here. Now I bought these as a set of four and they just come like this in a box so it's nothing special. They do add a little pick pouch or whatever you want to call it which I actually kind of like that it's kind of a nice little bonus and they throw in some guitar picks so I mean that makes it worth it all already right <laughs> but anyways so I have used them like I say you've seen the first part of the video and you get uh, your screws here and little little uh, things for like uh, the drywall and whatnot uh, the first thing I'm going to complain about is the actual hardware before I even look at the hanger because this is really cheap metal and you can see I've already spun this screw um, there's three big problems with this one cheap metal two it is a Phillips head which I think that's an American thing maybe and a star head for those who don't know what Phillips head is and it is also a fine threaded screw so I I tried putting the screw in it stripped I said you know what that's not the way to do it and I switched one of those out for one of these ones now this is a Robertson head or square head if you're not familiar uh, it is a higher quality steel and I believe zinc alloy and it is a coarse thread so when this goes into the wall it doesn't let go and for me it just makes sense plus it's a little bit longer so just something I did I would not recommend using this hardware it is junk get yourself a couple of these they're cheap anyways at the hardwood store just do it uh, so anyways moving on to the hanger itself so the first thing I'm gonna say is it actually does look really appealing uh, all black, there's nothing that stands out that's ugly, which is kind of nice. Uh, the plastic is fair quality, I mean it's plastic, but it's, uh, it's strong. And the metal is pop riveted together, which is fine. And then it has foam on the handles. And now these handles spin out like so. So you can adjust it like this or have it straight or close it in or put it down or however you want it so I mean as far as the hanger itself it's pretty good alright so now we're back over here with the guitars um, I'll tell you what these guys are because I know you're going to ask but this is a Nova 2600 and this is an Ibanez Geo Gex 30 uh, this is the one I, I got this one first and then I got this one not too long ago I also have uh, three acoustic guitars but I don't have room for them in here so can't put them up but anyways um, one thing again that I didn't mention was that this is a two screw model um, one thing you gotta remember is that studs in the wall are only so big so if you get like a three screw that kind of offsets them chances are you're not going to get all three screw, uh, screws in the stud where this two screw model will and uh, you might say well it's not as secure but this here is not coming off like like you you're not getting that off as long as you upgrade the screws to something like I used that is as secure as it's going to be um, I'm more worried about these handles breaking off than it coming from the wall at this point but these all pivot which is really nice so you can open that up put it in and as you let go they're going to sink down or you can do a little more and really close in on the handle so it's not going to fall and it, it works really well uh, these have been up all day I haven't seen any stress on it and I haven't seen any like risk of it falling so I mean it's a cheap little item and if it's something that you need like uh, some people got 20 30 guitars right um, or if you're like me you just started buying a bunch or whatever now you're trying to put them up on the wall to make room uh, this is a great alternative. It's uh, they're cheap, but they're simplistic, and they work. So, as far as like I say, this is great. 
change the screws out and you shouldn't have any problems. Um, I definitely recommend this product and I'll leave a link down in the description below to the ones I bought. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's review quickie, I guess. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for viewing.